Good morning! It's Christmas time! Who's excited? I'm actually the person that like listens to Christmas music right after Halloween because I figure it makes me happy. So why not? I just love like the feeling of Christmas. It's just so happy and jolly and I love it. But actually hold on I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee you could probably think I already had some with all the energy but this is just how I wake up in the morning lucky Greg um one second I'm just gonna get some coffee so good so today Greg and I are gonna be putting up our Christmas tree this one right here is like my formal Christmas tree and our other one is our memory tree but I'm actually completely lying to you guys so we put today's Wednesday and we put up our Christmas tree last Saturday but I was looking over the footage and Greg and I did like the intro together like we were sitting in the couch just talking and I had lipstick all over my teeth like what Greg didn't even tell me I was so upset and it was like really bad it looked like I just like bit into like a jelly donut because I had this like reddish lipstick on so Hopefully we don't have any lipstick on our teeth today. It was so bad that I was like, I can't, I, I can't put this on. Like every single video, I don't understand. Every single video I have lipstick just like all over my teeth. Yeah, I, I don't get it. Like in the everyday world, I wear lipstick every day and my lipstick stays put. As soon as I put a camera in front of my face, all over the teeth. To be honest, you're gonna see it anyway because a lot of the time when I was, when we were putting up the tree and I was talking to the camera, there was still some on my teeth. Like I didn't get it all off. But you know what? That's just me. It's just the life I live, you guys. So in my family, we grew up having like a ton of different trees in all the different rooms of our house with all the, like a different theme, a different color scheme, things like that. But my sister and I love our memory tree. So what our memory tree is, is every year my family gifts each other ornaments that kind of symbolize our year or something that reminds us of them. Um, so we just have a ton, a ton, a ton of ornaments. So that's kind of what I wanted to emulate in my, our own house, like our own little apartment. So this right here is just like my rose gold, copper, and like mixed metals tree. I'll show you guys some clips of me decorating this guy. Um, and then our memory tree is just Greg and I's ornaments for the past, I think like three or four years because all of mine prior has stayed at my mom's house or maybe five years ago because I think I moved in with Greg five or six years ago. Um, but the other ones prior to stay at my mom's house and stay on that tree. But these are just the ones that we've collected over time. So I'm going to show you guys some of our favorite ornaments. I, this is literally, I know it's everyone's favorite time of the year, but this is my favorite. I absolutely love Christmas. I love decorating. I love the music. I love making the cookies. I like making memories. I love just hanging out with the family. It's just such a good time of year. Ignore the lipstick on my teeth, but uh, yeah, keep on watching to see our memory tree. Wearing another Christmas sweater because I have way too many. Actually, I don't have enough. I'm obsessed. So I used to like try to start this thing called uh, Fun Sweater Fridays. So usually during like after Thanksgiving up until Christmas, I would wear like an ugly Christmas sweater to work and people were just like what are you doing but I think it's fun ornament last year or in 2016 because that's when we got Cheeto so it's Cheeto dressed as Santa then we also got this little cat toy that says 2016 for Cheeto we had when the year we got married we put together some like random ornaments so I made one with our invitations here babe you can put these up and then this one looks disgusting this looks gross, but this was one with like our wedding flowers and the little cross that I had around our, um, my bouquet. And then I have a little Starbucks cup because you all know I'm obsessed with Starbucks and coffee. 
Greg's sister sent us this cute little one filled with like sand from sand and seashells from Florida, which is so cute. This is just a little nostalgic one from Charleston where we went on our honeymoon. I'm actually really bad at putting ornaments on the tree because I feel like I don't know symmetry. So Greg's usually in charge. Tell them about this one, babe. I'll this give you one? a hook. Yeah. Yeah, so this one I got when I went to Amsterdam for Cassandra. So Amsterdam and like the Netherlands is known are known for like that blue and white art and kind of like pottery. So this is a little cute ornament Greg got me. Uh -huh. There's hooks right there. Gotta represent Lynchburg. Where should we put the snowman, Neva? He's like a big one to high holes. Yeah, you know, you gotta put it lower, I'm guessing. He's a good one to high holes. Uh, Alright, so the C is for Cassandra or for Cummins Turbo Diesels, which came out this year. But like, I don't really know the story behind like 99% of these though. <laughs> Look at this ridiculous dog that we got for the year that we got married. So amazing. We had our ring bear bring the ring down in this little old Mustang because this is one of Greg's favorite cars. So we made it into a little ornament. So my sister got us these two deer head last year because I'm obsessed with deer head and like that whole wildernessy look. So this one's Greg, the brown one. I'm the, or maybe I should be the brown one because I'm tan. You're not that tan. Not right now, but who knows. Hmm. <laughs> Another wedding cake from the year we got married. Where should I put this? It's heavy. Lower. We gotta start filling the lower ones. I put mine up high because you can't reach up there. I can reach. I got this one last year for Greg because we moved to DC, so it has just like a little pinpoint of DC. So Cheeto, our orange cat, is a really good cat in the sense of like he lets you pick him up and is like really cuddly and stuff, but he loves to like destroy things. So we were really nervous last year that he would like attack the tree. You know how you see like those like horror stories or like photos of like the cat in the tree and then like the tree falls over? That's what we were expecting with Cheeto. So hopefully, oh, now he's, let me show you guys. There he is. Let's hope he doesn't uh, climb up there. He definitely is interested though. Come here, Cheeto. Say hello to everybody. Look how happy he is. He's Say thrilled. hi to the world, Cheeto. See? He's he's thrilled. Yeah, he is. But he's super sweet. Oh, buddy. Okay, I'll put you down. Here. So this is what all the ornaments were wrapped in, and Cheeto thinks it's like Christmas for him. He's obsessed with tissue paper. Now he's acting normal because the camera's on him. Yeah, pretend you didn't do anything. He's like, I'm a good boy. I didn't do anything. Look how cute the hippo dances. So my favorite Christmas song, especially when I was growing up, was I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. So every year, my sister gets me a hippo. So here's one hippo. Here's a cute ballerina hippo. Here's another hippo. There's probably more on the boxes. Here, Can you guys tell that our tree is crooked? <laughs> Greg's sister also sent us this guy. It says seashell painted as a lighthouse from St. Augustine. I love undoing them because I sometimes like forget what the ornaments we have. So this is a cute little gingerbread from my sister. We both have this guy. Craig's mom sent us all his like childhood ornaments, so we have those too. So I'll have Greg show you his favorite one. So here are some more of Greg's childhood ornaments. They're the cute little M&Ms. Uh, we used to have these too. I think that they were like each year they'd have new ones. Do you guys ever have these on your trees? I think these are some of Greg's favorites, right babe? The M&Ms? Yeah. Greg has like a whole little Star Wars stuffed animal collection. Do I? Yeah. So this is Greg's first ornament. This is the year he was born. 
Greg and I's nephew made this little guy. He's going in the back. Oh, poor Alex. You guys, he's the best. I'm obsessed with dinos, how cute. Oh my God, we have two Cheetos. We have two Cheetos. Mm. Looks like we really liked Cheeto last year because we have two of these now. Alexi and I, my sister, get a um, sister ornament every year. I think I showed you guys the other one. But here is the 2013 one. Another cat ornament. This is from the year we got Alana. I think it's so cute. It like almost looks like it's homemade. Okay, you gotta put a banana up there. It's like banana's tree. Here's Alana. This is our chubby cat who loves the Christmas tree. She's so excited. She's scoping out her new tree. Nope, doesn't care this year. Guys, another hip hop. Because who doesn't have a high heel sneaker? Like why, why do I have this? Like, <laughs> Greg's just shaking his head behind the camera. There's a matching purse for that ridiculous shoe. I like forgot we had this one and I think it's so cute. It says always serving a good time and like cheese and grapes, so cute. Oh, another thing that I collect are liar ornaments. So this is just a few of them, but I have probably like 15 to 20 because it's the symbol of my sorority and I just really like them. So these actually go on my like more formal tree. She still needs the angel, but Greg has been out of town and I can't reach and I actually just found the box with the angel. Down here is just like a plain skirt because I can't find our other skirt in a nativity scene. Usually our cat hangs out down here, but I think she's in the other room, basking in the sun. I almost knocked down the tree, as you guys probably saw, but you guys, just clumsy Cassandra. So our tree is just full with all of our memories for the past few years. It's very gaudy, but that's the way we like it. Why is coffee like so good? Like, 